Hey, this is Jay Nicholas for the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a fly right now. Um, this is a fly I poached from the internet uh, that is popular in the Great Lakes region. I'm calling it Senyo's uh, Shimmering Minnow. Greg, forgive me. Um, but this is the the materials heavily rely on your laser dub, and this is a cool looking fly. And I just really like it. And I think if we fish it out here, we're going to catch fish on it too. What I'm told, I haven't had a chance to fish the Great Lakes, but I'm told that steelhead there and Lake Run Browns eat a lot of bait fish. And they're also attracted to nice pink and blue and chartreuse colors. So this, this is tied. Uh, this is a relatively small fly. A lot of the flies that Greg fishes, I've seen them. I saw them just last week at the expo. Awesome young man. Uh, are pretty big. This is a fairly small fly. And by the way, Greg has not, th th this, this isn't a fly that Greg designed, at least not that I know of. So I hope he likes it because it's using his materials. Um, tied on a Daiichi 1530. This is a fly, a uh, hook I like to use for uh, salmon fishing. So since this is a so-called bait fish imitation, I'm going to use some of this. Um, it's a hairline um, shimmer, shimmer fringe. Um, I've used it last year uh, fishing for rockfish and kings. This has got two different colors, kind of a chartreuse and a peacock. This is like the ice wing that we used to have words with because it was so hard to handle. This is, look at how nicely that handles. I've just got a little bit of it on there. I'm actually going to fold this back. Gives it a little bit more bulk there. And then I'm going to put on some fluorescent blue. Uh, laser dub. Senyo's laser dub in the front. You fold that back so it kind of covers the sides of the fly. Now that head is a little bit larger than I'd like it to be, so I'm just going to put a little tiny pinch of laser dub on there and see if that covers my air. Oh, yeah, look at that. Pinch that down a little bit with my nail. Almost like I planned it that way. Now that's that's a little bit more blue than I'd like. So as soon as I get this whip finish dealt with, I'm going to do a little bit of brushing here. And I'm actually going to remove some of that laser dub with my brushing until I get what I perceive as being about the perfect amount. See how it <clears throat> blends in really nicely with the wing and the body. This laser dub has a little bit of sparkle in it too. So. There you have uh, Great Lakes bait fish pattern. Bait fish usually come in uh, pink, chartreuse, and blue. Unweighted. This is a size six. They often fish this in a size eight. 
Uh, I'm going to tie this in a different color as well. I think you'll have fun fishing this. Thanks.